Hi, welcome back. So let's have another example. Say we have to integrate x squared uh, multiplied by the square root of x cubed minus 5 dx. Okay, so once again, you can always choose to, uh, uh, I mean, you may uh, simplify this using algebra in order for us to, uh, uh, oops, sorry, come up with a simpler term or simpler form that is applicable to our basic formulas. But you can also use the uh, change of variables. So based from here, let us analyze this term. We have x squared and inside the uh, the uh, what do you call this inside the uh, square root is x cubed minus 5 and if you notice um, uh, if you notice that maybe maybe uh, the uh, derivative of this term here might be something equal to the uh, term outside this complex square root here okay so basically the technique here if if you saw something like uh, 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 based on their power let that for the example this is raised to 3 and then we all know that when we take the derivative we always uh, 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 minus the derivative to 1 so we, if this is 3 then the derivative of this is somewhat equal to raised to 2 we have x squared so if you take the derivative of this x cube here our answer might be in form of uh, in form of x squared which which is equal to 1 wait I will um, off first my Bluetooth because okay. Okay, so where are we? Um, ayan. When uh, you have a complex problem like this, when you see an, a uh, variable raised to something, and you see another variable which is raised to something, and the one variable is um, less than one, uh, I mean, uh, uh, n minus 1 of the other variable then uh, uh, we can um, think that um, the change of variable may or can be applicable to this okay so let us use this um, term here as uh, u so we let let u is equal to x cubed minus 5 and then we take the derivative of this uh, of this uh, u here we have du is equal to then we also take the derivative of this so we have 3 x squared minus 0 plus 0 dx and then from here we can say from our original uh, function that um, our u is this one but our uh, du here is uh, 3x squared dx but in our main problem we uh, in, I mean in, on, in our main function we only have x squared dx we only have x squared dx 
so how are we gonna make uh, how are we gonna make it to uh, uh, make things equal to our main equation so since we only need x squared dx we can now divide both sides by 3 so we will only remain here with x squared dx and we will divide here um, d3 okay we divide both sides by 3 so what we have left here is x squared dx and that is what we want x squared dx then our uh, du becomes became du over 3 now let's rewrite this you can also rewrite this as the square root is equal to 1 half x cubed minus 5 raised to 1 half then we have x squared dx yeah, so from here we can now change uh, the variable x to u so we have uh, the this term is this whole term here is our u okay so we can write u raised to one half and then our um, second term here is x squared dx this is now our x squared dx so this x squared dx here is just equal to du over 3 diba to yon du over 3 so we have u raised to 1 half du over 3 okay so this is now our simplified form so from here you can now see directly that we can now use our um, we can now use our um, basic formulas okay so let's rewrite this u one half du over three or just um, equal to one over three integral of u one half du did you get it? I only uh, uh, I only move the one third here outside the integral sign. Okay. So from here we can now use our power formula. So we have one third multiplied by u one half plus one, which is I only uh, I always. Uh, use fractions to write my plus one here to easily add these terms then do not forget that it is also all over one half plus one then since should we integrate already then do not forget to add your constancy so simplify we have one third times u three halves all over what's this three halves okay so plus c so again uh, this can be simplified by uh, uh, Placing 2 at the numerator and placing this 3 at the denominator. So we have 2 u 3 halves all over 3 times 3 is just 9 plus c. So we have 2 over 9 u 3 halves plus 
plus C. <clears throat> this is now our uh, answer. Oh, by the way, we need to uh, bring back the value of our uh, U. So let us now uh, move back the 3 cube minus 5 in the value of U. So what we have here is that we have 2 over 9 our u is x cubed minus 5 this is our u which is equal to 3 cubed minus 5 then do not forget that it is uh, raised with 3 halves then plus c so our final answer is 2 over 9 x cubed minus 5 3 halves plus c okay so if you want to uh, bring back the um, the uh, the square root sign you can also uh, simplify this further or you can transform this further so we have 2 over 9 square root of x cubed minus 5 raised to 3 okay okay plus C. So that is another expression of our answer. Okay. Once again, let us review what we have done here. We analyzed the problem. It is complex. So we do modifications. We change the variables. So we choose to let uh, this term here as u x cubed minus 5 and then when we got the derivative of this u we know that it is 3x squared dx and we uh, don't have uh, 3 3 here we only need x squared dx so we divide both sides by 3 so that our answer became du over 3 so Finally, we simplify this form as u one half du over three, and then we do the integration of this whole term here. We're in. We can now I directly use our basic formulas. Okay, so here we are uh, uh, move back the uh, the uh, what they call this the constant outside the integral sign, and then move forward to the integration of this integrand so we have to apply the power formula so we have u one half plus one which is two over two then all over the new new power which is one half plus two over two then plus c because we already did the integration okay so we simplify this further and come up with this term but we need to um uh, we need to uh, move back the value of u which is equal to x cubed minus 5 that's why we need a we uh, wrote the value of u here x cubed minus 5 raised to 3 halves to over 9 plus c and then we can also transform this into another form using algebra which is equal to the square root of x cubed minus 5 raised to 3 okay then plus c okay so that's all for this time thank you so much and see you once again on our next video bye